welcome back to another episode of On The Rocks And I've got my squad with me Gang gang Hot up No more sir And we're bringing you another review This week we've got <laughs> Johnny Walker Red Label <laughs> So bad it doesn't even have tasting <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. It's a decent quality whiskey. Johnny Walker isn't a is a decent quality brand, isn't it? I think it's very well marketed. Mm. Um, but if you think if you speak to whiskey aficionados, most or all of them don't actually rate Johnny Walker as a good whiskey, even mm. the even the higher end ones. Well, here we are. But be that as as it may, we. We are here. We shall not discriminate. Yes. <laughs> There's no way we're chasing those, right? Nothing. Bring out a phone, Google it. Then. Yeah, it's fine. It's not There's worth no it. To. There's no need to. Open it, do the. How much did you pay for this? It was a gift. Just as well. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody thought they'd buy you a bottle of red label. Are they a friend or an enemy? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be that person. Thank you. I appreciate it. We don't. <laughs> it's quite yellow. Yeah, whoever put this for norm, so if you're watching, <laughs> please. Anyway, let's stop with the preconceived idea. Right? Yes. yes, it might surprise <clears throat> us. It's a bit yellow, though, hey? It's very yellow. <laughs> Compared to the other ones, it's yeah, like. They probably had put like a lot of caramel in it or something. But it's a blend, so they use like, I think Johnny Walker uses like 46 blends or something like that. Really? 46 blends? Yeah, is 46 it? weeks. No, 46 single malts, up to 46. Oh, is that in the blue label? But Some they blend. use quite a few single malts to blend into their whiskeys. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> I never thought it would be this peaty, eh? Johnny Walker's always, because it's, it's, it's got Kalila in it, remember, I think? No, but I mean, the different Johnny Walkers have different yeah. flavor profiles. For instance, Johnny Black is a bit yeah. peaty. This is peaty. The most peaty is uh, Johnny Green. Yeah. It's not that peaty though. No, it is. No, I don't taste that. No, I'm so used to it. It smells like... It smells like... <laughs> it smells like e, the telescope that we, we had. Where? Where? We haven't had telescope. What did we have? Lefroig. Lefroig, yeah. The Lefroig. No, it doesn't. This is very, very, very peaty. <laughs> Just this, like the, 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 the alcohol <laughs> fumes. Just, no, <laughs> it's just alcohol. It's very medicinal. <laughs> like somebody said. <laughs> oh no, guys. Right, let's try it. Okay. Okay. Bottoms up. Bottoms are eyes closed. Mm. Hmm, not bad actually. It's really peachy. not as bad as I yeah. thought it would be. It is it's peachy. actually quite smooth. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for a red label Johnny Walker, it's actually quite smooth. They say you guys prejudged it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very peachy. And, uh, it is peachy. But, but you, you can tell that they tried to get mass appeal with this by adding a lot of sugar, i.e. caramel. Yeah, it's quite sweet. Mm. But it very is peachy. Mm. So it's probably a, a, a blend of like uh, Isla Malts. Yeah. Maybe it's with like caramel. maybe one yan uh, space side or to balance, and then lots of caramel. <clears throat> maybe that's why. It's do they add caramel yellow. in the blending process? Yes, okay. they do. I one for color, mm. two for taste. Okay. This Look, is actually, not as bad as it's I thought. Not, it's really not that bad, to be honest. <laughs> it's mm. smooth. It's strong, though, okay? Hey? Mm. It's strong. It's peaty. Mm, very peaty. It's not bad. You know what it reminds me of? Um, I know we haven't shown you guys this episode, but it reminds me a little bit of the Bells Special Reserve. Yes, yes, yes. I was about to also mention it. It reminds me of Bells. Bells with a bit of peat. Mm. Mm. No, I felt like the, the Bells was a little bit more peaty. Hey, but here, in the throat, you feel it, hey? Yeah, there's there's something very off balance about this whiskey. Even though the taste is okay, it's, it's just 
know it what tastes it like you know what the taste is like you know when you cut drunk pop okay and the sweetness that, that and that the tanginess the oh, and that okay. that leftover sweetness i think it's because they put the caramel mm. they probably put the caramel so you know it, that's why it gives you that drunk yeah. pop tanginess sweetness okay. If they hadn't added so much caramel, it, it, it would actually taste okay. No, I think it would, it would probably be a really lot stronger. So when they mix all these blends, do they put more alcohol in it? I don't think they do, because it's already been brewed. And so they don't mature it themselves? No. So they just get all this whiskey, put it in like these huge vats, and just pour out from the tap. Mix, That's mix, mix, question. and then pour out from the tap. Somebody put it in the comments below. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us how these things are made. But I Miami. <laughs> <laughs> no, I imagine they just whatever whiskey that they mixing in when it's reached its desired maturity, they add it, add it, add it, yeah. and then they put all of that into another like separate like cask a big or a vat barrel. and they yeah. mix it. They mix it, and if they want to mature it more, they can. So maybe that's when they do. They get their different colors. Yeah. Okay. And if maybe they looking for specific like f flavor profile or a color then that's when they add like caramel mm. and other things sure. but this is warm <clears> hey <throat> yeah. this will give you a hell of a hangover yeah i know it will <laughs> hell of a hangover you can taste and shit <laughs> you can taste the babalas mm. tomorrow <laughs> yeah. it's, it's not bad it's not meat, a bad meat but meat. i don't think i wouldn't advise that people drink it meat <laughs> actually Ice. <laughs> yeah. Ice. Vanilla ice. Ice, baby. Alright. Let's see. Too small. Notice how nobody refills <laughs> their yeah, glass. I, that's very notable. <laughs> that's very notable. <laughs> I'm still getting peat. Yeah. You know, for all the whiskeys that we've had, all of all or most of them have tasted better with ice. Oh. This one, it's the same. There's right? no discernible it's difference. The there's it's no the discernible same. difference. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes exactly the same. If, it, if anything, it actually tastes worse. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Mm -mm. You know what it tastes like? It's like when you have a really bad whiskey. And you try to dash it, but you can still taste the badness of that yeah. whiskey. But it's not a whiskey. It's not a bad whiskey. Yeah, yeah, it's not a bad whiskey. But that's what I'm getting when I when I have it with the ice. I'd rather have it neat actually than with ice. You need pella upuza too, and that's it. You must just call it a night. As I said, there's just something very off about this yeah. whiskey. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so. We are mixing this whiskey. We might as well move yeah. on. <laughs> right along. Yeah. Ginger, keep on walking. Ginger Excuse beer. The pun. Yeah, keep on walking. <laughs> Lerato just wants to get this over and done with. He's had enough. It's Stop like... the pain, please. Stop the bleeding. We need to cauterize this. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Sure. This ginger, <laughs> this ginger beer is strong, eh? Yeah, it's ginger beer, it's not ginger ale. Yeah. Maybe the only thing that could counter. Mm. I'm just getting ginger beer now. I think you put too much ginger beer. Mm. Yeah, I'm to, uh, we need to be impartial. Mm. Actually, this is a this is the drinky drink maukul. Ginger beer, Johnny Walker. Oh, we find a stuff in you. We find a stuff in you. And then we pose it. Let's try. <laughs> this whiskey is irredeemable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's very rare that a whiskey tastes better without any additives. Yeah. So you think this tastes better neat? Just yeah, neat. Maybe with a well, dash with of a splash of water. Uh, probably with a splash of water it would taste okay. But with ice, I didn't like it. With ginger, it's <laughs> poor. No. So mm -mm. no guys. And from a price perspective. How much is this? 
And it's probably like 270. Yeah, I remember when we were streaming. When you returned to Sender. <laughs> varsity. You were the man. This used to cost 70 rand. Or something I like know that. lies. Well, I promise you. No, Johnny no, Red. No, it was the same no, price no. as a, as a Jack. Jack Daniels. And a Jack, a Jack Daniels. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. It was, it was lower than a Jack Daniels. Yeah, Jack Daniels actually used to cost more than this. Yeah. Pelo this, used, used, this used to bet or, or, or used to be in the same price range as, as a Bell. As a Bell. In the first watch. No, and no, as J and B, I mean to say J and B. Yeah, but J and B wasn't like eight seventy. It was. When we got to first year, no, I'm sorry. Hey, now we're letting our age <laughs> out of the bag. When we used to buy a case of beer for forty bucks. I never. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, no, do not. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It creates. It creates. Yeah. Yeah, but it creates a case. But but I remember during the two thousand and two or three rugby was it rugby World Cup. No, it was the soccer World Cup, wasn't it? No, the it rugby or cricket. One, one of them. It wasn't. It was, wasn't it was 2003. It was 2003. 2003. You could get a 24 Castle Lagers for like 40 bucks. Nah, man. It was a World Cup special. It was a World Cup special. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. During the World Cup. Yeah. It's not like. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying, Hi, guys. You need to return this to sender, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Whoever's, no. Whoever gifted it to you, it was, they probably re gifted it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> hey, Mm-mm. I'm not gonna finish my new shop. Yeah, I think I'm good. I'm trying, but. So, verdict? Five. Four from me. No, and I, I'll give it the five because actually, neat, it was actually quite decent. If but weren't you the one who was complaining with stroke? On the on the nose, but when I actually tasted it, it wasn't actually that bad. So Hotzo would have realized when you watched the videos. Hotzo's always the one who's like, oh, it didn't taste so bad. But you give the worst facial reactions. You're the one who's like, mm. cringing the most, but you're... Yeah, because on, on the nose, I think, maybe I taste with my nose first. Um, as we all do, as yeah. well. And that, it, 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 um, the initial reaction comes from the... But when it uh, gets onto the palate, I think it's a bit better. It's not as bad as on the nose, but this... I agree that it actually tasted quite decent. Neat. Neat. But everything thereafter was just... Downhill. Yeah. So, five. Yeah. What did so, we give the... I think I give the Akashi a five, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's in the same range, actually, for me. So, maybe, four. Maybe the Akashi was even worse. No, it was better. Come on. No, no, Akashi was worse. Well, no, I was worse <laughs> uh, I'll give this a four, actually. Then. Nah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How, much, how much did we give Akashi? I gave Akashi five. Five. How much did I give Akashi? Probably a five. Then I should give this five as well. <laughs> so you're saying this is um, there's something you gave a six to. So you're saying I think Shivers got a six. So you're saying that Shivers is only one above this? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Me, I'll speak. Fine margins. No, no, but I'll, I'll stick, I'll stick to my guns. I'll stick to my guns. Four. Four. Yeah. It wasn't a great experience. Eh? It wasn't at all. And so. I think it doesn't help because it's PT. <laughs> That's why yeah, it, 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 it breaks the ice a lot easier. Yeah. A lot <laughs> Except if you talk to Basi. Mm. I know he'd be very offended. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. it's a four. You? Five. five. Four from me, yeah. Four, so that's eight, thirteen. Mm-hmm. I think it's our poorest performing. Below pass mark, but if you're in South African matric, you would pass, eh? Mm. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm sure there are people who really like this and enjoy it. Yeah. Plenty. And go ahead with your bad self. Um, Especially if you like really pungent, strong whiskeys. Yeah, yeah. I feel like lower end whiskeys are all going to be pungent yeah. and strong. Yeah. That's why they. Mini guys, let's, let's be honest. The guys that are drinking this are obviously guys that cannot <laughs> afford the higher end stuff. Yeah. You, you wouldn't drink this by choice. No, there are people. There are people no, who no, by choice. No, no, they no. are. They Plenty. are. They are. 
Like this, you forgo uh, even a black label I can take. So let me make an example, and this is not whiskey. I've worked with somebody who drank box wine, and eat, like she was an exec, and for her, she was like, "I'm going to get drunk either way. Mm. So why am I going to spend? Let's say with, she was in love with a donkey." <laughs> <laughs> and she drank box wine. Like if no. you go to her house, she no, buy it no. over me and my five liter, no. and then, <laughs> and if you want wine, unless you bring your own, no. but like in a fancy house. Fancy she house. Didn't, she didn't. She didn't tell you everything. Right? <laughs> you don't just buy box wine for the store. <laughs> the wine store. No, 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 no. But no, when you're no. in a restaurant, you and you you order house wine. What do you think they're serving you? I don't order house wine when I'm at a nursery. Well, well, some of us order house wine, then you know that yeah, baba, but you drink it anyway. <laughs> no, but the point is there are people who prefer mm. to drink this. Fair enough. But it all goes according to the palate. So if you like like really strong, pungent whiskeys with a bit of a sweet taste, yeah, you can. But those it. people are outliers. Let's be honest. No, but if if you're that guy, let's say if if you're an alcoholic. And you've got lots of money. And you just want to get drunk all the time. You're not going to buy Johnny Blue all the time. But then it goes you back to this. It goes back to the money issue because if you're an alcoholic, you're spending money on booze every day. Yeah. So then it becomes a financial decision rather than a a, a decision no, based on taste. No, but then if you're an alky, you, you, you're not swayed by the smoothness of like a, a Johnny Blue. You just or want the sensation. All you just want is alcohol. But it, it just proves my point. That you don't drink this by choice. Ah, uh, you do. Because he could still buy Belvini. Yeah. Why not Pussy Belvini? Because you can't buy Belvini every day. You can't spend 700 Rand every day on no, whiskey. No, if you're you Bill Gates, spend 200 200 Bill Gates was an alcoholic, he would. Buy this every day. No, he wouldn't. He, he could get... Bill, Bill Gates could buy 12 distilleries on his own and just take the stock. Anyway, we digress. <laughs> Even finish this freaking yes. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for <laughs> watching. <laughs> so, in yeah. this case, yeah, keep on watching, but I won't keep we on won't drinking drink. this. If you come visit me, come through. This and the Akashi are, you gonna say are to waiting the, for you. What are you going to say to the person that bought you this? Because you're not going to finish it, and you've said it on cameras. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm telling you what's up before the episode goes out. <laughs> hey, yo, we had the red, it was rough. Okay. <laughs> now right. I've said it. Peace. Bye. <laughs>